What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got a new Star Wars game we need to be talking about. It is a Star Wars escape room game, or it's supposed to give it its proper name, Star Wars Escape Game. This one looks really, really fun. Now, some of you in the board game community might recognize the whole unlock thing, because it turns out unlock is a series of games we've had for a little while. You see, we've actually had a bunch of these. We've got Unlock Epic Adventures, Unlock Timeless Adventures, Unlock Heroic Adventures, Unlock Exotic Adventures, and that one's got a dinosaur one, so I'm kind of in on that one. Unlock Secret Adventures, Unlock Mystery Adventures, and Unlock Escape Adventures, which is really really fun and essentially these are a series of board games tabletop games trying to take advantage of the whole escape room phenomenon now i'm assuming you've all not been living under a rock for the past few years and you know that escape rooms are a thing group of people go into a room the room is a big puzzle you work as a group to solve the puzzle and you escape from the room in a set period of time and if you escape from the room in that period of time you win otherwise you lose i did an escape room in sydney it was lots of fun but especially with the whole pandemic thing at the moment and not everyone wants to go to an escape room or has one near them where i live at the moment there ain't no escape room sorry so what we've got is a series of board games which is kind of awesome and it's one that's flown under the radar for me on a personal level but now, all of a sudden, we've got a Star Wars one coming. And that fills my heart with quite a lot of joy. Now, there are a couple of pictures that are doing the rounds. I personally got them from Board Game Geek. But what they do is essentially give you a little bit of information about the three scenarios which are going to be featuring here. So essentially, out the box, you get three different scenarios, three different little escape rooms based on... Well, based on the Star Wars world, we've got an unforeseen delay, escape from Hoth, and secret mission on Jeddah. And because we've got these cards, we've got a little bit of a look at exactly how they work. So an unforeseen delay, you are smugglers in the outer rim, facing danger and the unexpected every day. To Dale, while transporting expensive cargo belonging to Jabba the Hutt, you are intercepted by an Imperial Star Destroyer. Imperial operatives impound your ship and confiscate everything in your cargo bay. You know it is only a matter of time before they take a closer look at the cargo and discover Jabba's hidden illegal goods. There is no time to waste. You need to break out of your cell, rescue your astromech, and get hold of the cargo. Then all you need to do is recover your ship and escape. Your objective? Escape with your astromech, your co-pilot droid, and the cargo. And then there are advantage cards. You select three of the six advantage cards. Do not read them yet. Return the unselected cards to the box. Now reveal and read the three selected advantage cards. They may provide hints, clues, and shortcuts or other benefits. So there is a little bit of randomization there at the beginning of the game, where you essentially figure out exactly what is going on, which is kind of cool. Obviously, the replayability of these kind of escape rooms is always going to be quite low. When you go to a real escape room, you, you work out the solution, and that's going to mean that it's very... um. Let's just say it's not really worth going back. I don't know exactly what they're doing here in terms of replayability, but I would probably assume that you get the free scenarios and that essentially gives you your, your free missions. But I do like that they're mixing it up with the different hint cards. So that's kind of lovely. And then we've got things like Recruited Smuggler there. We've got Stormtrooper Armor and Detention Cell. You are trapped in a cell of a force field over the doorway. On the other side of the force field, a lone stormtrooper stands on guard duty. Obviously, if you're into escape rooms and Star Wars, this is an absolute no-brainer. This seems kind of right up my alley. Now, the other thing is that this does work off an app. And we've seen things like this before. Journeys in Middle Earth, I've covered on this channel a bit. And that works with an app. So it's not exactly something completely new we've never seen before. So you launch the app. 
start the unforeseen delay scenario, press start and flip this card over. And hopefully the app is going to be able to mix things up a bit so that you can play them more than once. Suppose it's worth pointing out that the app is free and it is available on iOS and Android. Now there are a couple of other scenarios we've got here as well. Escape from Hoth is clearly based around the original trilogy as well, as was the first one. Echo Base, an important rebel stronghold, has managed to remain hidden on the ice planet Hoth for some time. You might remember that from Empire. The hostile climate provides excellent cover and protection from the Empire, but you must always remain vigilant. You head out on a routine patrol with your trusty taunt on Mount, a hearty creature native to Hoth. After an eventful morning, you take a brief break to rest your taunt on while you contact Echo Base with an update. However, due to heavy atmospheric disturbance, you can't reach them. Your mission, continue your patrol, explore the ice planet, and contact Echo Base. And then again, you select three of the six advantage cards without reading them, put the others back, reveal them, start the app, and you're off. Which is kind of cool. And then we've got some other cards there. We've got Tauntaun Mount, Imperial Seeker Droid, and something that says your pilot has been injured in the crash. He is in front of you unconscious. And you'll notice we've got the lovely Star Wars artwork at play here. And it really is going on the Star Wars nostalgia with the Hoff and the Tauntauns and the artwork and the probe droid or seeker droids. And quite frankly, if you're into Star Wars like I am, this looks kind of cool. Now, we were shown the other scenario as well. This is Secret Mission on Jeddah, which clearly means they're moving into Rogue One. Jeddah was all in Rogue One and all of that stuff. And remember that Rogue One was set pretty much immediately before Episode 4. So that's the kind of time frame we're in here. You are an Imperial spy sent to infiltrate the holy city of Jeddah. An Imperial pilot transporting a crate of priceless kyber crystals crashed their Zeta-class cargo shuttle on the surface. You must retrieve the crate without alerting the rebel scum Saw Jera or any of his lawless mercenaries on Jeddah. There is an Imperial informant waiting for you on the surface with more details. Meanwhile, Imperial Command orbits Jeddah in a Star Destroyer. They are within communications range and expect regular updates. And you take and reveal cards 5 and 99. Cool. Your mission, gather intel, maintain your cover story, and recover the Kyber crystals. And then you take 3 of the 6 advantage cards and launch the app and all of that good stuff. So we've clearly got a card-based, app-infused escape room game, all based around Star Wars here. And I'm kind of digging this. Big Star Wars escape room puzzles being played through. This this looks kind of awesome. It has been revealed by... It was tweeted out by Asmodi France, of all things. Which might not be exactly what we're expecting. Now, I've seen some places saying there's no expected release date at the moment or price. We know that it's launching in August. Though we only currently have confirmation for some European countries. But, come on, it's clearly working in august and modi france have got it listed as august the 23rd so i would certainly take that date for europe if not a more wide-ranging date and in terms of price i've not seen an official price be announced here but zartu games have got it listed for 25 pounds 19 with an rrp of 33.99 which actually seems kind of cheap and i'm thinking i might need to go and pre-order that and it's listed on Thirsty Meeples for £28 and Board Game Guru for £27.99 with the same RRP of £33.99. So it's got an RRP of £33.99 and it's launching on August the 23rd. I feel fairly confident saying that. Yeah, fine, the, the date might be mucked around a little bit here and there amongst some countries, but... That should give you a, a pretty good argument here of when it's releasing and how much it's going to cost. And honestly, I'm kind of excited about this. And I think that maybe you guys should be too. I mean, if you're not interested in Star Wars, there are plenty of other... Unlo I mean, there are literally seven others on the Space Cowboys website that you can actually go and find out about here. So it might not be for you. 
If you're just into escape rooms, you're probably already playing on lock. And if you're not interested in Star Wars, this probably ain't going to grab you. Unless you played all the others and you just want another one, in which case, hey, this will do. If you're not playing unlocked games like me, but you're a big Star Wars fan like me, this is probably going to be the thing that gets you in. And you know the deal at this stage, there's a very good chance that you're going to get in on one of them and go, oh... Yeah, let, let's go get that dinosaur thing, shall we? Because if I like this game, I'm going straight for exotic adventures and getting my dino on. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. New Star Wars game revealed. Looks kind of fun, but I'd like to know how fun you think it looks. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy. That's where we talk about all kinds of games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun stuff. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.